If you want Jonathan to live, press 2. You have chosen Jonathan. He's a good boy and your favorite son. How'd it go? Dad had this whole heart thing while we were flying. I was pretty messed up. Is he okay? I don't know. He says he is, but something's not right. Glad you were there. Dude, you need to come next time. Seriously, Dad was just dead. Now he's back and you want to sit in your room? What the hell? I was just giving you guys some one-on-one -on -one time. Stop pretending like that's why you didn't go. What, so you got superpowers and I can read my mind? But you keep blaming yourself for what happened to him, even though he's been back for weeks. Look, man, you don't know what you're talking about. Really? Then stop listening to this stupid message. It's screwing with your head. I thought we weren't supposed to eavesdrop. Just following your example, Superboy. Do you want to talk about it? I, I don't know what happened. Well, for starters, you died. So you can't expect to just bounce back and be the same person. You no, know, it's, it's not just that. Everything feels different. I don't feel strong. My hearing, I can barely hear out of my left ear. And it's almost like... You can't trust your own body. Is this who I am now? I mean, am I just never going to be what I was? Maybe. Well, that really sucks. Clark, every time I walk past a mirror, it's still jarring. But someone once said to me that whatever scars I have are a symbol that I survived. What matters is that you're here with me now. Everything else we can deal with later. Did you just say that really sucks? I think I'm feeling the wine. That's a first. <clears throat> There's not a day that goes by that I don't wish I could thank your dad. <clears throat> you being here with us is all the thanks you wanted. 